Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel that are simple, informative, and achievable no matter what level of makeup you're at. Like today, we are doing this look right here, which I am absolutely obsessed with. This is one of those looks that you can dress down or dress up, and I am here for it. I achieved this using the new Daydream palette from Alter Ego. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know Alter Ego is not new to my channel. They are a copycat dupe brand. So they do high-end eyeshadow palettes for a much more affordable price. I think all of their palettes are between $16 to $18. They're super pigmented. They're super buttery. They're super creamy. They blend really well. And today we are doing this eyeshadow look using the Daydream palette. So as I show you here, I'm sure you guys can tell this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. And it, it's very, very similar to that palette. I know copycat brand dupe palettes are kind of controversial. But if you don't want to spend the money on a high-end palette but you want the look, Alter Ego is a really, really good brand to do it. I think that they're in all of the dupe eyeshadow palettes I've tried. One of the best brands to dupe a high-end formula, if that makes sense. This is a lot better than a typical drugstore formula, which is where this price is. I apologize for the noise. My upstairs neighbors are home and there's a really creaky spot right there if you guys can hear that. But anyway, if you do have this palette or if you wanna purchase this palette, I also have a coupon code for you. Like I said, they run between 16 and $18 and I believe my coupon gets you 10% off or if you have the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and you want to see how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. So because I've already done my base makeup and I don't want any of the fallout, because there is a little bit of fallout with this palette, the shadows are really pigmented, I wanna take a little bit of my translucent setting powder and I wanna apply a thicker layer of that under the eye to catch any of the fallout. So at the end of the shadow, I can just wipe it away. So I'm really not into baking. I don't prefer to do this. If I was doing this off camera, I would have done my eye makeup first and then applied my base makeup. But for the sake of the video, I did my base makeup first. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. Do whatever works for you, but I just wanna make it a point that there is some fallout with this palette. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with in this beautiful palette is right here. This is the shade Bubbly. I really like that they have these listed on the back of the palette for tutorials like this, as well as the front. I'm gonna quickly just move Theo out of the way as well so you don't hear all those cat noises throughout the video. Okay, so starting off with that shade Bubbly and this Wet n Wild, I think this is called a P20 or it's a P23 brush. It's just their fluffy brush. This one is from the Walgreen set, so it doesn't have it listed anywhere. I'm gonna lightly dip into Bubbly and I'm gonna start to fake my crease. Again, I have hooded-ish eyes. I feel like my eyes are changing as I get older. They're kind of becoming a little less hooded, probably because I'm losing some of like my plumpness as I get older. So I'm gonna just apply that right into the orbital bone area. So if you have hooded eyes and you don't know where to apply your crease color, just press really lightly into your eye and you'll feel there's a dip. Like you could see right there, there's a little bit of dip and that's where you wanna apply the crease color. So I'm gonna go in with Bubbly right in that section. I'm holding very low on the ferrule of the brush as well. So I have a very, very light touch. I don't like my crease color to be too heavy. I like it to be a really, really nice, gentle fade. This is why I like to do one eye before I come on camera so you guys can see exactly how I like the eyeshadow to look and then you can watch me mimic it on the side that isn't done. Sometimes I like to bring my shadow into like the nose crease. Sometimes I like to bring it straight down. Today, I just wanna kind of follow my natural eye shape. Okay, so switching over to a more precise brush, this is my Sigma Precision Firm Blender E42. Sigma recently came out with more precise brushes, which is awesome for those of us with hooded small eyes. I've been using this nonstop lately. You could see it's nice and small. I'll show you next to my P23 brush. There's definitely a difference in size, so it's really nice for those of us with smaller eyes to kind of 
do detail work. I really appreciate brushes like this and brands kind of expanding out like that. So with this Sigma E42 brush, I'm going to dip into Fawn and Sunset here. They're two warmer tone browns. You can go in with either or. I just like a mix of them and I'm going to kind of start to build out that outer corner. So I just kind of go Fawn, Sunset, Fawn, Sunset and then I tap off all the excess. I could see shadow fly in the air and that's exactly why we applied this translucent powder here. So I'm gonna to start to apply that to the outer third, focusing mostly on the eyelid because that's where I want most of the pigment. And then as I move up, I kind of put less pressure on my brush and I start to fan out in windshield wiper motions. And you'll see I'm dipping into the pan a lot because I'm really only trying to go in with a little bit of product because I'd much, much rather build slowly than have to like crazy blend to blend everything out. And then always keep in mind everybody has different eye shapes so what works for me might not work for you. This is just what works and I personally prefer with my eye shape. And then with a Smith 247, I'm just going to dip into Fawn, this shade right here, and I'm going to do it really lightly. So I'm just going to kind of press right into it, really, really flick off any excess, and then I'm going to take that right over where I put Bubbly, and then I'm going to move that all the way in, just so everything is cohesive. Really quickly, I'm going to just dip into Enchanted, which is the shade down, again, with that Sigma Precision Brush. Again, very lightly. I just want to apply this right in the outer corner to step it up more into that burgundy kind of tone that I have on this eye right here. Okay, cool. So we're going to leave it like that for now. It's not done by any means yet, but I do want to get into the shimmer shades. So we're going in with cloud nine right here. These shimmers are so buttery and they are so pigmented. All I'm doing is using my finger. I'm going to go in with my ring finger and then I'll probably go in with a brush. And again, be careful with this because there is a little bit of fallout. It's a shimmer. And I'm going to basically apply this everywhere where I haven't applied any shadow yet. So starting in the center where I want most of the pigment. And then I'll dip again. And work my way in. I find as it kind of touches your skin and kind of the oils from your fingers and the warmth of your skin, they almost like, it feels like activates the shimmers a little bit more and they blend easier and they look more pigmented. But you could totally go in with concealer under here as well and a packer brush and pack it right over. I just always prefer it to be a little more natural and I think like I said, the oils and my finger I, is the best application for me personally. I am just taking it slightly above my natural crease and I want to blend it into those mattes over there as well. Alright, and real quick because I did it on the other eye as well, I took a little bit of Star Crossed which is a little bit lighter here and I just took my finger, a clean finger, and I went right over everything. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see me. I just touched right over everything to give it a little bit more of a pop, but then I went back in over it again with cloud nine. I just kind of wanted to experiment and I want to do what I did on this side to this side, but it kind of pops the color up a little bit. You see what I mean there? Applying that right in the center is really pretty. It just kind of brings the focus into the center of the eye. I think you guys can see that on camera. And then again with the finger that had cloud nine on it, I'm just touching over to blend everything. And then again with my Wet n Wild brush, I just want to make sure the edges are blended here. So I'm just taking whatever was left on this brush and just touching over those edges. And I'm really trying to hold my brush out like this 
Sometimes when you blend like this, the sides of the brush will pick up what's under there. You don't want to do that. So holding your brush out like that stops you from grabbing the shadow on the lid. Okay, and finally, we're going to add just a touch of Daybreak, which is this shade right here. Pretty, yeah, that's the darkest shade in the palette for sure. I love this color. This is like a really nice, rich chocolate brown. And we're just going to deepen that outer corner just a touch more with this. And definitely feel free to stop at any point. You could just go in with Sunset and Fawn or Bubbly, whatever works. Tailor these shadows to what works for you. Again, we're trying to keep this pretty much just on the lid. Okay, so I just went in and blended that a little bit more. I think I might blend a tad more after I do the lower lash line, but I want to apply the lower lash line colors because sometimes that balances out what might look heavy on the upper lash line and then lashes and all that good stuff kind of balance it out as well. So taking a pencil brush, this is a Sigma pencil brush, I'm going to go in with a Fawn and I'm going to take that all the way from outer corner to inner corner and then I'm just going to take a little bit of Daybreak on a Sonia Kashuk angled brush and I'm going to push that up on the lower lash line just to kind of even everything out. I always like to do this looking up into a mirror. So I'm holding a mirror, uh, my Daydream palette up, and I like to connect this to the outer corner like that. And then I just lightly apply under. And these are so pigmented that literally took seconds. And then, like I said, my Sonia Kashuk brush and Daybreak, I'm going to apply that right up to the lower lash line. Okay, so a little trick. This is a Sigma Practic Large Blend Brush that I use for concealer under my eyes. So it's got a little bit of that left. I like to take that when I go in a little bit too heavy and I just rub along the edges and because it has a tiny bit of that concealer you can even go in with a powder i like to blend along the edges and it just really kind of diffuses if it's a little too heavy so the next thing i want to do is go ahead and highlight my inner corner so i used this physician's formula butter collection palette on my face today i used the bronzer the highlight the blush i love this i totally forgot about this and i saw it today and i wanted to reuse it so i'm going to take the highlighter in here this is called full moon it says limited edition but all of their highlights are nice they they tend to be a little bit glittery for me i prefer a little bit less glittery and more of a reflective highlight but it works really well for the inner corner here so this is the Sigma smudge brush the E21 I'm just gonna take that it's a really nice small brush again love when brands come out with smaller brushes for us hooded eye girls and I'm just gonna apply that right in the inner corner you don't even need to wet this it's so pigmented and reflective and I like to just kind of take that right up And then again, I'll just take that concealer brush, blend it right in. Perfect. So I'm going to hop off here and do my liner because it takes way too long and I can't do it on camera. So I am using the Kat Von D Hemingway liner. It's just a brown liquid liner. I'm also going to take a black liner. I've been loving the Sigma. I just looked at my fingers and got confused in my little viewfinder. I thought I had eyeliner on my fingers but it's just the shimmer shades but anyway i'm going to take the sigma wicked liner which is like my all-time favorite right now and i'm going to apply that on the upper waterline and i'm just leaving the lower lash line as is and then i'll go ahead and apply my lashes while i'm off there as well i'm using the kiss corset lashes if you guys have been with me for a while you know how much i love the kiss lashes and then i'll apply my mascara i am just using my Too Faced better than sex and we will be done with this look so i will be right back here with all of that on all right, you guys, lashes are on, liner is on. I had a little bit of trouble, as always, with my Kiss Corset lashes. When I first put a fresh pair on, they're a little bit wonky, but as I wear them, they kind of form to my eye a little bit better. So 
we'll just look past that but this is what everything is looking like and I absolutely love it this is one of those looks that you can wear casually but you can also use it dressed up as well I try to keep it super simple here as always you guys know with my hooded eyes I can't go in with 18,000 colors the simpler the better but I think this is also a really stunning look so the daydream palette by alter ego absolutely gets a huge thumbs up for me such beautiful formulas as always you know the alter ego palettes are not new to my channel the goddess palette which is a dupe for the natasha denona palette you could see how much i use this this is so beautiful i grab for this all the time the same thing with the temptress palette this is a dupe i think for the anastasia sultry palette also stunning and this is just as stunning i did have when i was blending on this eye a little bit of trouble some of the mattes were getting a little patchy on me it wasn't anything difficult at all i just knew when blending i couldn't blend too much so when i went in and did this eye i didn't blend quite as much because i experienced that but that's typical you just kind of have to tailor and i have no problem with that you might but i have no problem tailoring my techniques to a palette this was nothing difficult at all nothing that i think any of you would really pick up on even i could just tell a little bit with the mattes if you blend too much it might get a little bit patchy so as always, you guys know Alter Ego does dupe palettes, so if you support that, I highly, highly recommend these. I am just not somebody who wants to spend like hundreds of dollars or $80 or really even $50 on a palette unless it's like a collector's item for me. So something like this works really, really well. I'm not huge on eyeshadows like I am with more face products. So for me, this works really well. And this is the best dupe formula for all of these Ultra Ego palettes I've ever seen. I also have a coupon code with them. I think it's 10% off. I'll leave that down below if you want to save some additional money on this. But Thank you so much to Alter Ego for sending me this palette. As always, this is not sponsored in any way. I just absolutely love their formula, and I always get inspired. It's been a long time since I've done an eyeshadow tutorial. Not a long time, but it's been a couple weeks since I've done an eyeshadow tutorial, and I'm so happy that they sent this over because this has gotten me excited about my eyeshadow again. So I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know below. I will list all the rest of my makeup details down below as well if you're interested in seeing what is on my face. Also, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.